and welcome back to another episode of Challenger Life. Uh, today we are just outside uh, Balanar Cross Malina uh, to take on Nathan, Mayo's second highest peak after Milray, which is our next one. So, Paddy's with us today. Mary unfortunately couldn't make it due to reasons that I won't say because she'd kill me. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Nathan is situated in the west of Ireland, in my home county, Mayo. Being a standalone mountain, Nathan can offer you panoramic 360 views, and on a clear day, they can be excellent. You can see the two locks, Con and Cullen. You can see Crow Patrick and Nathan Beg Wilderness. We began our hike along the road on the R321. There you'll find a little turn off with two gates. Park up near the wooden gate and, and climb that. We took the wooded path along until we knew we were level with the ridge. However, I would recommend an ulterior route, as you can go around the wood, as going through the wood can be dangerous. Once out of the wood, make your way along the ridge that runs up. Now be warned, there are a number of false peaks which may trick you thinking you are close to the top, which you actually aren't. You'll realise you're close to the top when you see two cairns together. Keep following the cairns if it's, if it's cloudy until you reach the top. to everybody. When you're starting a hike, make sure you check your socks for cords. I think we missed a turn, but we're not too sure. We kind of found a bit of a path there. We're gonna walk through the woods uh, from my reading on the internet. I was a bit unsure about this part, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take a little kind of stroll through the woods. Once we get through the woods, we'll uh, see the mountain more clearly, hopefully. I think we're heading up towards the ridge now, so we're gonna take a little walk through the woods. Let's go. wood walking through it is very much like something out of Lord of the Rings and we, yeah had a bit of drama there where Paddy put his foot through a hole how are you feeling Paddy oh yeah he's feeling better, he's feeling better now I have to keep a keep a watch on it though so this ridge part of Nathan is extremely deceptive as it has a number of false peaks as you're going along. Every time you think you're getting to the getting close to the top, you realise you've got way more to go. As you can see, we've just passed we've just passed the first little peak. And beyond this, beyond that peak, there's gonna be another one and I think a fourth before we've reached the top. So apparently Paddy's after telling me there's six. Oh, fantastic. We come to a step, there by a lovely farmer, but we're not sure if the fence is electric. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a try anyway, we're gonna get over and uh, we'll let you know. Oh, Paddy. Oh, 
not electric anymore. <laughs> Success! Yeah. So on many of these hikes I've uh, told you a bit about the mythology of uh, the place, some uh, ancient tales. And uh, just down here is Loch Khan and Loch Cullen. And they actually hold a very significant place because they were the two hounds of Finn McCoon. Now, they were chasing a wild boar uh, because uh, Finn McCoon was on a hunt. Of course, uh, we don't explain why the boar was so special because uh, the great thing about Irish mythology is they never exactly tell you why they can do things, they just can do it. So they were chasing a wild boar and suddenly the boar started leaking water for some <laughs> strange reason un un unknown to ourselves. And it leaked so much, it created that lake, Khan, Lake Loch Khan, where the dog drowned and the smaller one, is where Cullen drowned the hound. Of course, the boar was caught, but Finn McCoon lost his two dogs. Now, another story goes that uh, they're called that because a chieftain, actually, his dogs drowned in those two lakes. Now, one is believable, but the other, I know which one I enjoy better. So, that's the great thing about Irish mythology. a tough going mountain and um, we both seem to be drained oh, well, I, I'd work at half six this morning and I guess I'm starting to feel it now oh, Paddy as well his knee is it the knee that you fell in the hole with yeah his knee starting to hurt a bit you know it just seems to be a bit of a demoralizing tough old slog and as you can see starting to hit the cloud at the top of the mountain so just have to wait and see what that has in store just over this false peak persistence persistence and you will get your rewards. We've nearly, nearly reached the top. And I'm just going off to the side to show you this. Because just as we've got up here, it's, uh, it's cleared a bit. Now, I don't expect it to clear fully, but uh, it's still a very nice thing to see when your persistence starts getting rewarded. Oh, oh. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Shh. I know. Uh, who are that? Just stopped off at the top for a bit of a reflection. A bit of tea. Paddy brought the fast this time. Delicious. Cheers, guys. Just before those clouds get in, you know, again you kind of see Loch Khan, Loch Cullen kind of in the distance there. It's a bit, it's a bit hazy, but uh, I really didn't think when we were driving here and I saw the cloud on top that we'd uh, get to see a view like this. It's uh, absolutely incredible. <sighs> feel good now. Feel good now after that. After that slog. That cloud has come in and it's uh, delivered a bit of tiny bit of wind, a bit of mist and rain. So we're gonna try and get off this thing as quickly as possible, but yet do it in the safest manner. Um, 
we're gonna let the uh, we're letting the uh, cairns guide us back down until we get to the ridge and we get to the pass. So uh, when we were coming up last time, uh, there's a number of clouds over the Nathan Beg uh, wildlife area, uh, wilderness area. Um, it's meant to be the loneliest place in Ireland, believe it or not. And uh, whatever about that, it's it is quite something, quite beautiful. very interesting moment in history particularly around this area would have been 1798 when a little rebel when a little rebellion broke out and up in Kalala a small contingent of french forces teamed up with irish pikemen and won a couple of victories in Balanan and a couple of other places until they made their way over to as you just oversee in the distance Kesselbar where they were finally defeated you can almost imagine the route they took going through this valley and over the mountains to reach Kesselbar Wonder what it would have been like seeing a few hundred men, a couple of thousand men maybe, marching on their way into battle. Back down at the woody part again. Uh, needless to say. The two of us are goosed. Goosed, well goosed. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a slog, alright. Not helped the fact that we've been other things going on and fairly tired as we're, going, as we're climbing the mountain. Um, I suppose a very quick tip to everybody if you're working in the morning, probably wouldn't recommend doing a hike unless it's a small one. Not a mountain, anyway. A non mountainous hike would be alright. So that is us finished, Nathan. Fantastic job from both of us. Well done, Paddy. <laughs> uh, the two of us are absolutely wrecked. Um, it's a tough old slog up. Um, can't say that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Nice views when we actually got the views. Um, yeah, listen, if it was a nice day, it'd be a lot better. Um, as many things, but yeah, I can't say I'm overly wowed by this mountain. Um, but listen, it was a challenge. Uh, there was certain stages there that we were thinking about turning back, but we didn't. We persevered and we got over it. Um, so we're going off now to fill our faces full of. We're not too sure what yet, but it definitely won't be healthy. Anyway, take care and goodbye. Did you just like that video and want to join us on our next adventure? Please hit that subscribe button. If you just like this video, please give us a like. We're on Instagram where you can get all the behind the scenes footage and pictures. So please follow us. You can also now follow us on Facebook. So hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.